Hello, uh, today is May 29th, and today is the day before my high school graduation. Um, wow, yeah, high school's ending, and I don't really know what to say about it. I don't know how I feel about it, especially considering the special state of things. At the time, it wouldn't be a normal ceremony, but it's still a special time, I guess. It's sort of the end of my childhood, in a way, and the beginning of beginning, beginning, beginning of adulthood. Um, yeah, it will be a live streamed event on Zoom where the parents and the teachers will watch us. And there will be no handshaking and no moving of the cap tassel because of social distancing. At the moment, I don't really know how I feel. I, I think I should feel something. And I don't know if that's how I'm feeling right now. I feel kind of just a little bit excited, but also underwhelmed. Uh, I want to record today well i guess tomorrow but my ceremony my ceremony that sounds weird i want to record my graduation process process i want to graduate i want to graduate i want to get my diploma this is just a provincial diploma but i want to record a special event for myself for future reference um and yeah i don't have anything else to say at this point if there are updates i will update myself in the future and so yeah until then okay bye hello uh it is currently three in the morning <laughs> buddy do you mind on uh may 30th 2020 in these last 12 hours as a high school student um wow does it feel special not really <laughs> not really does it feel momentous no Maybe it's because of the current state of things and the pandemic that graduation doesn't really feel like graduation. The ceremony isn't really a ceremony. But in the previous years, watching my upper year classmates, upper year peers graduate, I've always, I don't know, I've sort of built up these expectations in my head and feeling like, oh, like, keep on going. You're almost there. You're almost to graduation. You can do it. I don't feel like very excited for it. I'm excited to like wear a little bit of makeup and put on, I don't know, a skirt. <laughs> That's not anything. I don't own any fancy clothes. Dressing up a little bit for like a group picture, I guess. <laughs> if even that. I'm excited to see some of the people I went to school with that I haven't seen or talked to in two months. I'm excited to go to school for a day. I don't know how many of these circumstances are or how many of these feelings that I'm feeling are just because we're in this special time and because there's a pandemic going around and because the world has been under a lockdown for the past couple of months. But everything feels so underwhelming. <laughs> and I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about it. I guess that's sort of the world right now, right? Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to think, what I'm supposed to feel, how I'm supposed to feel. I don't even know how I feel right now, even talking. And I don't know how much of the things I'm actually saying that I truly believe in. And I just, some thought just comes into my head and I'm just saying them out loud. But I guess it's good to record them so that I can look back on them in the future and see how I felt back then. Um, also, I just really want to dress up a little bit. I don't know, because I've been basically living in my pajamas for the past two and a half months. In the last two years of high school for me, I like to stay up a lot. And it's because on top of all the things I had to worry about and stress about in my life, whether it's school and university and life outside of school, I felt like if I stayed up at night, it was almost like I created more time outside of the allocated 24 hours a day for myself to do whatever I wanted. And there's a time in the world just for me to do whatever I wanted with no judgment and with no need to worry about anything and to not feel scared. Is this Twilight? Can somebody tell me? Maybe I should do some research. Is Twilight like this time, like three in the morning? Oh, this is the witching hour, I guess. So uh, there's that. Yes, yes, witching hour. I, I'm not a witch. Um, unfortunately, fortunately, unfortunately, I don't know. But I guess I'm gonna go to sleep. And I will update tomorrow. 
and see how the ceremony goes, how I feel, if there's any fun things that happen. Um, alrighty, so, good night. Oh, so, hello. Uh, this is me back again. I haven't gone to sleep yet, but I just wanted to add something, which I just recently realized, which is, even when recording these clips, I feel like I'm trying to, like, I don't know, present a certain version of myself to say certain things that I should be saying, that I should be feeling, that I should be doing, but I don't really know if I even believe in them. And, like, considering, like, this is really just a recording for myself, so that years from now that I can, like, look back on this and feel, um, I don't know, <laughs> something, um, uh, so I can remember, I guess, my high school journey. I don't know what that says about me, that I, even now, like, this isn't for anything, this is for nobody but myself, I'm still sort of worried and thinking if I'm doing it right, if I'm saying what I'm supposed to be saying, if I'm feeling what I'm supposed to be feeling, but I think, logically, what I should be doing is just experiencing it first and just be honest with myself with how I feel. Um, so with that, this is actually a good night sign off for today and I will see me tomorrow. This is about like an hour before the actual ceremony. There's like tapes with a lot of names on them as you can sort of see in this picture. Not really. Anyway, uh, the idea is that we're supposed to stay six feet apart from everybody else, but obviously it's not working out too well and no one seems to be following them. Okay, pause again. Okay, I'll look at everybody with their caps and gowns. Aren't we all so cute? Somebody's uh, very hardcore judging me for filming all of this, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Let's continue once again. Okay, now this is after the ceremony. Uh, everybody's socializing, talking to their friends. I don't have any friends, but okay. Oh, hey, look, I found a friend. I found a friend. People are taking pictures. Oh, she's saying hi. Hello, hello, hello. People are also taking photos. This is where the ceremony took place. Oh, I almost slipped. Alrighty, since, uh, thank you for the pause. Look at those chairs, chairs right there. That's where we all sat with uh, six feet apart between all of us because, you know, social distancing. While the Zoom meeting was on. Okay, let's continue. This is more of the concession area of our school. There's microwaves. If that's an important detail, it is, I think. Remember that friend from earlier? Well, uh, we're at her house right now for like a post-grad adult, very adult hangout. Um, well, I'm just showing around her room at the moment. Look at her window. Mm, nice window. Hey, that's me in the mirror. I'm trying to put on my cap. It doesn't really fit. And okay, let's walk closer. Let's inspect ourselves. Damn, we look so good. Alrighty. Okay. Um, now I'm taking the hat off, looking around the room. Is it anything interesting? Nice penguin stuffy. And now I'm following her to the washroom very awkwardly because I am an awkward person. And hey, what are we doing now? Ah, uh, mirror selfie. Nice. Very adult. Mm -hmm. This is what uh, graduates do. She's showing me her tail. Yes, this is a uh, very mature content right here. Oh my god, I shouldn't have said that. Anyway, she's wearing a onesie and showing me her onesie. That's very nice. She's got a nice bathroom, I must say. And oh, I'm Gary Kenny <laughs> carried away by some rainbow hair on her wall. And that's more of a room. She should really, you know, do a bit of a decluttering but you know oh okay you go well, ahead just vlog yes. this view and then go down because it's really wow. beautiful from that city S wow. skyscrapers well we don't really have skyscrapers in vancouver they're more like the thank you mini guide. scrapers <laughs> thank you the tour guide for that um, very nice i know okay well we're at the beach now you're getting a tour guide from loco vancouver residence. loco vancouver residence who lives in this neighborhood okay that's cool yes. Um, it's still raining. Somebody is barbecuing something because I can smell it. And oh, yes. it's still very pretty, but oh, yeah. it's very wet also. We're going to barbecue something too. Well, we should. Maybe I should invite Bill and Derek to my house to be barbecue. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Very nice. Good Bill, idea. I bet Bill is good at barbecue. Oh, well, yeah. Then <laughs> they own a restaurant, don't they? Well, that sounds really good. Okay, okay. It's a Walking on very slippery rocks in a very wet may day it is may 30th have i mentioned that it is may 30th 30th yeah okay. it is the second last day of may oh yes, yes. there are some people over there likely digging for crabs which i don't know i don't think that's very eco-friendly but there's too many crabs in vancouver oh. so it doesn't really matter anyway wow Oh, the skyline! I can't even talk anymore. The skyline is very pretty. Yes. It is very pretty. 
because it's directly connected to Stanley Park, so it has a nice view. I like Stanley Park. Especially on like Sundays. But this also isn't a tourist guide to Vancouver, uh, but sit and chill on that you might get. I don't think we can there. sit because everything is wet cold and cold. Also, you can sit. I'm pretty sure there's a crab under all these rocks if you look for them. I know. Mm. But I think we? that's one thing why my dog loves the beach so much is because like, there's a lot of unknown, you know, the unknown. Like, into the unknown! Yeah, into the unknown, like, marine world. That's how my dog yeah. loves it. Yeah. Biology students, hey, take notes. Also, that crow is eating something it's definitely not supposed to eat. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Hello. Yes, today is my first official day as a high school graduate. They gave me a hat. For the purpose of this update, I'm gonna wear the hat because it makes me feel more official when talking about it. The ceremony was yesterday. Um, it was about an hour and a half in total. It was okay. We got our diplomas, which is uh, here. I got it. Look, don't I look so intellectual and mature like this? And we said goodbye to some of our friends and that was it. We got a graduation gift from our school, which is just like a wallet with the school logo, which was nice, I guess. They did something for us. But besides that, it was sort of just goodbye and everybody went on their separate ways. Talking to some of my friends at the ceremony and I realized that like a lot of us have built up graduation as this big thing. Even though we built up these expectations in our heads, in reality, very few of us really felt that emotional at our graduation and after the ceremony was done, that was sort of it and everybody just sort of went on their way and these are some of the kids I've seen every day of my life well not every day like five days out of seven for the past five years in high school and that I'll probably never really get to see much ever again uh likely for the rest of my life assuming they live a happy life and I hope they do too I guess I do I do okay I do everybody I hope everybody lives a happy life I waited a day to record this update because I wanted to first give myself a chance to sort of think about um, graduation and how I felt about it and um, well the results are two things firstly I don't feel that different should you feel different that's a question that I've been asking a lot in the past couple of days I don't know if you should feel different just because you simply graduated I still feel very young and I don't feel very responsible and you know you see on the internet and not just the internet but in all of media that these kids these like young kids doing so much but I'm 17, I've graduated high school, and I still feel very much, maybe not like a kid, but very much like a young person who doesn't really know much about the world yet. And I want to get to know the world, I wanted to get to know myself, and I want to know what I want in life, but I feel like in order to get there, there's still a lot more that I need to do. And while high school was a important chapter of my life, it was just five years it wasn't anything too special and maybe perhaps I'm just not one of those people that had the best time of their lives in high school and that brings me to my second point which is that while there were a lot of good memories and a lot of good people that I would definitely miss from my high school experience overall I think that I wouldn't miss high school wait all that much and saying I guess goodbye to some people yesterday and sort of felt like even though I've seen you you know every day in school I don't really know them and then I was hoping hoping a little bit for myself that I feel like this really emotional sentimental sort of farewell my brothers oh my god I'll miss you so much but it didn't really I don't know it wasn't really like that maybe because personally I'm just someone who is I wouldn't say I'm necessarily an introvert I am more of an extroverted introvert I talk to a lot of people and I generally I get to, I know everybody but and I like talking to people because I'm just a generally pretty talkative person but I don't have that many close friends in life in the past couple of years even though it's not really likely that I'll get along with everybody I tried my best even though I say I don't care most of the time I still put other people's opinions above me my own so much and then I care so much about what other people think of me what they how they see me and if, if they like me or not and almost valuing that more than how much I like myself you're just trying to fit in right like uh, most teenagers you try to fit in 
and I try, I think, but somewhere along the way, I feel like at times I've lost respect for myself and I've lost respect for my own opinions and how I view myself and everybody else around me. And yesterday at the ceremony, why I'm bringing this up is because I sort of realized that, hey, like after today, I don't have to care about what you think about me at all because, you know, your life has no more relevance with mine from today forward. And that is also problematic because why did it matter in the first place? Why did I care in the first place? And like I said, maybe it's just part of a, being a teenager, but it's something I think that I have to work on, that a lot of people have to work on, and it's about just trying to live their life fully for themselves and learning to love themselves and respect themselves as they are. And I think right now that is the biggest thing I have to say about high school. It wasn't the best time of my life. It was all right. There's some good moments, some good people I'll definitely miss. But for the rest, I think it balances out the good and the bad, the happiness and some of the stress and the pain. But we're all through it now. And as a fellow grad, Zoom grad of 2020, um, I want to say to my other fellow graduates who may be watching this, congratulations, you did it. And pat on the back for myself, I also did it. Very proud of myself. Not very proud. I'm a little bit proud of myself. And until then, um, stay in school, kids, and good luck.